Hart has the story. They are the one team the rest of Division Three is shooting at. That's because the Fredoni State Blue Devils are currently the number one ranked team in the entire country. They have been the target 26 times so far this season, and 26 times those doing the shooting have missed. I'm surprised that we're undefeated, but uh, I thought we'd have a good program going this year. Uh, I think we've gotten some great maturity uh, from our athletes. We get some tremendous leadership, and we've got some people that uh, are league-caliber players and have really stepped up this year. And, uh... Last year, the Blue Devils suffered through a 15-loss season. So this year's 23-0-3 mark reflects quite an amazing turnaround, which has certainly been quite enjoyable for this team. Tremendous. I mean, I came here four years ago when the program was, you know, pretty much just starting out. And, uh, you know, we've sold out a couple games. And, you know, you hear it on campus, you're walking around, everyone's saying you're doing great. I put Fredonia on the map. It's a little school, you know, about 5,000 people. And, uh, you know, getting the paper USA Today, you hear about us in California, New York City. It's good for the school. The Blue Devils are on the map because Meredith recruited from all over the map. A look at their roster shows hometowns in California, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Indiana, and of course, New York State. We want to go and find the best student athletes, but I'll tell you one thing, that some of the best ones, and we've got 10 of them on our roster, is from Western New York. On the back of the Fredonia State Blue Devil practice jersey, it simply says desire, discipline, and dedication. It's more than just a statement here. These guys have proven that it takes desire, discipline, and dedication to be the number one team in the entire country. At Fredoni State College, Chuck Howard, News 4 Sports at 6. The Blue Devils are going strong. Well, you're going to have a wonderful night here on Channel 4. Don't miss the figure skating and the other great Olympic... had some unfinished business as they took on Salem State in the consolation game. for many memorable moments.
ask her that she the first Sunia friend in the program's seven-year existence. new friends and all, but they weren't like us. They were, you know, different. And I heard my big brother saying some pretty bad stuff about people like them, but they seemed pretty cool, and we had a pretty good time. So, well, uh, maybe my brother doesn't know everything. Hey, Carlos, come on, we need you. Don't be afraid. Be afraid. fires are started by people who never realize what they've done. Some never even set foot in the forest. FSU coach Jeff Meredith was generous enough to sit down with us and talk about last season and his expectations for this year. What were your um, expectations before last season? Oh, I mean, you know, we're coming off a sub-500 year the year before. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I have, uh, you know, goals or expectations going in. I, I you know, I want to reach our potential. Um, you know, I thought we had, uh, uh, you know, a good nucleus. Uh, our question mark, it was in our goaltending, and, you know, that proved to be solid uh, for us, needless to say. But uh, uh, I, I probably didn't realize we'd score as many goals as we did, uh, you know, because we like to make sure we're defensively solid first. But uh, we had some people with just some unbelievably, uh, you know, tremendous offensive years. Um, 
<clears throat> what when you came home from Wisconsin last year without the national championship, did you feel like there was some unfinished business that you were looking to get back this year? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, it's a uh, it's a situation that was uh, turned out to be a good situation for us. I mean, needless to say, you go to the Final Four in any in any sport, it's a great experience. Um, you know, some could say we're happy to be there. You know, being the first time. You know, I don't know. Uh, I think that uh, it was a good learning experience for us. We saw what the hockey is like out there, and we saw what you need to do to get to the Final Four. And um, I think that, you know, when we got to the Final Four, we got there it was with some good defense, but we got there with a lot of great offense. And I think one of the differences is once you get there, everybody's got the offense. It's the teams with the best defense. And, you know, I mean, you look at it, we only gave up uh, four goals, but, you know, that proved to be the difference, you know, in that River Falls game. And uh, I think we, we need to pay the price a little bit more defensively. I think we need to uh, be more physical. And, uh, you know, hopefully we've got the, the seeds planted in the program this year that we can do that. What would you say is the style of Blue Devil hockey? Oh, we want to uh, we want to use our speed. We want to push the tempo of play so that conditioning becomes a factor in the in the later parts of the game, the second half the, of the second period and the third period. Um, <clears throat> we we talk about that a lot at practice when we condition. Um, we want to go so hard. We want to make the tempo so fast that our opponents aren't used to skating that hard for that long, that sooner or later their legs are going to give out. And when their legs give out, that's when, you know, we can come in for the kill. Um, I think we want to be disciplined defensively. Um, and we, we just want to go, go, go and really push the level of play. Do you think it'll be hard to get the players back to the level they were at at the end of last season? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. In fact, I I, I would suspect that we're going to hit that. Uh, I'm, I'm confident that we're going to hit that sometime, probably right around our first Sunyak weekend. You know, all of a sudden, uh, you know, we'll get all the preseason stuff and the, you know, the tournament out of the way. And, um, you know, then we're going to... Sunyak, it's different. You know, it's different. Than, you know, our IT game, it'll be great this weekend. People are excited to play that. But Sunyak is different. You know, I mean, you can see the standings every week on the bulletin board. It's, it's something tangible. Uh, and I think, you know, I'm, I'm excited because I think we have the ability to, uh, you know, do more than we did last year. We have a different type team. We have a much faster team. And uh, speed is difficult to defend in the college game, so I'm, I'm looking forward to using that speed to our advantage. Who do you look for for leadership on the team? Well, I think uh, you probably your strongest group of leaders has to be your veterans. They're the ones that have played the game at the college level before. They're the ones that you know, know how to prepare for an RIT or a Plattsburgh. Um, Rookies, as good as they may be, uh, it takes them a while. It takes them a long time to really understand, you know, how things work at the college level. So I think your first base of support, leadership-wise, needs to come from your veterans. Uh, and obviously, you know, you got to have strong captains. Uh, we've got a couple who are, you know, working their way toward being strong captains, and uh, Jeff Lupu and uh, uh, Doug Florkowski. Um, you know, but, but I think leadership needs to come from all the veterans because that's key. You know, it uh, can't just come from a coach because a lot of things need to be said at a lot of different points. It uh, can't just come from two captains because, you know, of the same reason. It has to come from veterans who see this in practice and say, hey, you know, this is how it works, okay, do it this way. Um, you know, in that type of leadership, I think uh, if you have... Uh, if you don't have a lot of leadership type people in your upper class, you're going to be struggling a little bit. And I, I think we have some, some good leaders in our upper classmen. I think we, you know, can do more with that, obviously. But uh, you know, I think most everybody could.
Well, if there's somebody that's going to be a surprise, uh, I don't know about it yet. Um, I, I think everybody's got to step their game up. Uh, you know, the veterans that returned, uh, you know, they, they have to, to raise their level of play. I think the rookies, uh, we've got some good, solid rookies. Um, I think they have to continue to understand what we're trying to do as far as our system goes, our style of play. Um, and the great thing about rookies too is if you if you have a couple good rookies and they start, uh, you know, they start uh, maybe catching opposing teams unaware. You know, like when we play our IT, everybody's going to know. You know, from our IT, geez, you better watch Conley and Lupu. Okay, but maybe that's where, you know, maybe our second line can come in. Uh, you know, Eric Preston or uh, Masako who played third line last year. Uh, you get into our third line and, you know, maybe our IT matches the first couple lines and say, geez, you know, you got to lock these guys up. Now all of a sudden our third line isn't getting much attention and our third line is, is pretty powerful with, you know, uh, Telly Percucci and, uh, you know, a couple of rookies on there. So, you know, I think that'll perhaps be a situation, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll find that out shortly. How important are the fans to you guys when you're home and on the road? Oh, they're real important. Uh, I've, I've just begun to see uh, a real, you know, faithful uh, fan following. And, you know, I, I want to see us get to the point where, you know, it's jam-packed every game, you know, because they can't get enough of the, you know, the slam-bang 60 minutes, you know, the pretty puck movement, uh, you know, fast-paced action of, of Fredonia State hockey. Um, we're getting there, you know, seeing a great crowd for Seneca, you know, was a start, uh, a pivotal game like RIT, hopefully it'll be jammed and, you know, we'll go from there. This, the fans are really important. Our guys, you know, love playing in front of a packed house. Um, you know, when you're on the road, they like playing in front of hostile crowds too. You know, it gets them going. I mean, no crowd is more hostile than up at Plattsburgh. And, um, you know, the guys like playing in front of that crowd too. You know, so whether they're with us or against us, uh, you know, as long as it's a good-sized crowd, they, you know, they're pumped up for it. College is known as a, a learning institution. What do you think you teach the players? Well, I think, uh, I, I think college is, is a great experience for anybody, uh, athlete or not athlete, from the standpoint that I think you probably learn as much out of the classroom as you do in the classroom. You know, obviously you're learning the, you know, the, the book work in the classroom and like that, and. Uh, I think out of the classroom, you're, you're learning to deal with, uh, you know, your peers. You're dealing, learning to deal with professors, administrators, uh, community people. I think as a Fredonia State athlete, our players are are uh, learning a lot about time management, uh, about discipline, you know, both on and off the ice. I think uh, they uh, learn a lot about a great work ethic and how you can be successful by working hard at whatever you do. Uh, I think they learn a, a lot about, uh, you know, being cooperative and being a team player, uh, working hard for a goal, things like that. And I think those are attributes uh, that, that go a long ways once, you know, they hung up the blades. Talk a little about the bond that, that players share with one another. I think that's, that's as much as your success right there is, you know, your on-ice performance, your passing and shooting. I think that uh, we, we draw upon that bond to uh, get us through tough times, you know, whether it's in the practice or whether it's in a, you know, a tight game. Um, you know, we, we, we think that uh, having a cohesive group is, is uh, key to our being a successful program. And, and the cohesiveness and the interaction and the, uh, the workability between the players is something that we you know, work on, right? I mean, we actually work on that right from the beginning of the school year. Butch Meredith has signs posted in his office and in the locker room to make sure his team remains determined and focused. When we return, we will meet the 1994-95 Fredonia State hockey team. It may not look like it, but you're watching.
watching the future of the Earth pass by. Because many of these products are made from materials you've been recycling. But to keep recycling working, you need to buy products that say, made from recycled materials. For all those next in line, it would mean the world to them. I found out I had HIV. Knowing I could die has been scary. But what's worse is that all my friends are still doing what I did that got me infected. And I don't mean drugs. I learned that anyone could get HIV. But when you're young, you think you're invisible. You don't think you'll ever get it. Find out how you can prevent HIV. Call 1-800-342-AIDS. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your 1994-95 Fredonia State Blue Devils. Hi, my name's uh, Eric Prescuta. I'm number one. I'm a goaltender. I'm from Lancaster, New York. I played at the Nickel School in Buffalo, which is high school. I'm excited to see Eric play this year. Uh, he's gained a great deal of maturity over the last uh, maybe summer, and he, he just comes in looking like a different goaltender this year. I'm number three. I'm Chris Cadis. I'm a left winger. I'm a freshman. I'm from Wixom, Michigan. The rookie uh, has been out of organized hockey for a year prior to his arrival at Fredonia. Has uh, some some good uh, good skills. He brings with him some some good attributes. Uh, working hard to learn what our system is about and how we play here. Matt quickness uh, gives us a lot of quickness back as a defenseman, uh, probably one of the most offensive defensemen that we have. Uh, last weekend he rushed the puck, he, he moved it out of our end pretty successful, uh, needs to learn the discipline of playing the defensive position in our system. I'm Francois Albert, number five, a freshman, a forward from New Brunswick, Canada. Francois, uh, with confidence, Francois will get better and better. He's, he's, he's got a little confidence now, and he's beginning to use some of the things uh, that are second nature to him. has a uh, tremendous vision on the ice and makes some real pretty passes. Hi, I'm number seven, Frank Cromboli. I'm a sophomore defenseman from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Frank is a, he's a sophomore, saw game time at the end of last year. Uh, Frank is still, you know, learning our system. Uh, he has some good tools. Uh, we're, we're trying to get him on a, six, um, a consistent basis. Hi, I'm Matt Corver, number eight from Livonia, Michigan. I'm a freshman. Forward. Thank you. Matt, uh, again, another rookie. Uh, some good offensive skills, learning our system and the work ethic here. Hi, I'm Peter Owen, number nine, uh, junior from Holbrook, Long Island. Peter. Uh, Veteran defenseman uh, has good vision of the ice, and uh, we're going to put uh, put some pressure on Peter to, to be able to perform this year. We we need a great year out of Peter. I'm Jeff Lupo, I'm a junior forward from Detroit, Michigan, number ten. He's a premier goal scorer in the nation, uh, you know, and we're looking to get that and leadership out of loops again. A senior from Lackawanna, New York. I'm a forward, and a number eleven. Uh, Moose. He, his probably biggest attribute is he's a goal scorer, you know, and Moose needs to score goals for us. Hi, my name is Brad Preston. I'm from Michigan Hill, California. Hi, Robin. Number 12, I'm a sophomore. One of the most improved players of the veterans to date, uh, good size and strength. Um, had, a, I think, one or two goals against Seneca, and, you know, I, I continue to look for great things from Brad. Hi, I'm Dave Simpson. I'm a forward, number 14, from Rochester, New York. Uh, you know, we talked about David. Hopefully he just stays, you know, on pace with where he was last week. If he did, that would be scary. Hi, my name's Ryan Red, number 15, from Mount Clemens, Michigan. Ryan uh, had one of his best games as a Blue Devil last weekend against Seneca. I think, uh, you know, some maturity there, and, uh, you know, he's, he's come a long ways, and I'm really counting on some big things from Ryan, and I'm going to challenge him to, you know, step up and meet those. Ryan Check, number 16, freshman forward from Parma, Ohio. One of our most talented rookies played on the first line with uh, Conley and uh, uh, Simpson the other day. Uh, probably, you know, fit into a third line position uh, when Lupu gets back. Um, you know, he's, he's got great tools. He's going to be a good college hockey player. 
Hi, my name is Mike McDonald. I'm Spenceman, Farmington Hills, Michigan, number 17. Mac is tough as they come. You know, he beats our own players up in practice every day physically, and, uh, you know, he's, he's just a workaholic. I, I can't say enough about Michael. How you doing? My name is Telly Picucci. I'm number 18. I'm a center. I'm a senior from Buffalo, New York. Telly, uh, you know, he's got some good offensive skills, needs to continue to work on the defensive end, and, and uh, I like the way he, he shot a lot last weekend against Seneca. I want to see him do more of that. Josh Kerner from Linden, Michigan. Uh, defense number 32. Uh, probably the biggest kid on the team, Josh, has been a forward for the last few years. Uh, we moved him back to defense this year because of his size. He's working real hard right now to pick up the uh, the style of play and the defensive coverage and like that. And, uh, you know, again, he's another guy who's not in the lineup right now at this point. But I think, you know, once he gets a good handle on it, you know, he'll he'll be there sooner or later. I'm Doug Flakowski, number 20. I'm a senior defenseman from Buffalo, New York. Dougie, quickness, uh, dependability back there. He's a steadying force in our defensive end. Hi, I'm Chris Dijak, number 21. I'm a forward sophomore from Rochester, New York. Chris is a rookie, uh, again, you know, needing some strength, uh, but he's got some great tools, and hopefully, uh, you know, he'll put himself into a position to get into the lineup and maybe use some of those tools. Come on, CJ Glander, number 22, junior from Carmel, Indiana, play forward. CJ, uh, again, one of the most improved uh, people coming back. Uh, he's playing physical where he, he wasn't so much in the past. He's, he's lost maybe 15 to 18 pounds, so he's about a step quicker. And uh, he's starting to do some nice things. I, uh, you know, I, I see if he keeps that up, you know, we'll be able to, you know, see some nice things out of CJ. Hi, I'm Eric Spinsky from Buffalo, New York, number 23. I'm a junior. Eric, uh, another veteran, uh, not in the top four lines right now. Uh, he brings a number of things to our program. I'm Mike Parrott. I'm a freshman defenseman, number 24 from Howell, Michigan. Uh, small, quick defenseman, very gritty, tough. I like that uh, in a defenseman, and I think uh, you know you'll be seeing more of Michael as the year goes on. Hi, I'm Mike Anzell, number 25, uh, junior forward, Jamestown Yard. He's what the Blue Devil Hockey's all about. Work, 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 uh, you know, do anything, sacrifice anything uh, to make a play. Uh, you know, I can't say enough about Michael. Uh, number 26, forward, senior from St. Clair Shores, Michigan. A Craiger, I, uh, you know, he's great offensive talents. He sees a lot of ice time. Um, you know, I think his trick this year is going to be to uh, fight his way through all the hooking and holding that people are going to do to him to try to, you know, negate his offensive talents. And I think, uh, you know, if he doesn't get frustrated doing that,